When most people put a pivot table up on screen, everyone knows exactly what it is. It looks like a pivot table. I actually think there's a lot you can do to make them look great. And I'm gonna tell you how in this video. Now, when you look at what I've got on screen, everyone can tell that is a pivot table. Some of the giveaways are things like it's saying column labels here and row labels, uh, this sort of, you know, some total sum of sales, total sum of profit, these kind of expand and collapse buttons, some of the, you know, the groupings and the way subtotals appear at the top, etc. So we can uh, manipulate all of this and we can get it looking much more like a normal report. So a lot of this is in the, um, sorry, in the design tab of, so clicking anywhere in the pivot table, Clicking on design, one thing we can do straight away is to put the subtotals at the bottom of the group because that's much more the, like the kind of thing that you would normally do in a report. We can also um, insert blank rows after each item. That gives each section its own kind of grouping. Uh, the grand totals as well, I mean, we might not necessarily want those, so we can, um, for example, put them on for columns only. I think that looks slightly better. And then on this analyze tab over here, this show section, we have plus or minus buttons. If you take them off, you can see what that's doing. That's removing these expand and collapse sections. And we can also take off field headers, which are these where it says column labels and row labels. So straight away, we're looking way, way, way better in much, much better. And just to tap it all off, we could potentially just introduce a bit of a different format, say something like that. And immediately, um, we're looking at something that could actually be a standard report. It's not obviously a pivot table. So don't forget you can download the spreadsheet by clicking on the link in the description. It can work for all of this or just have ready-made examples because I put in the end and the start scenes within that spreadsheet. You've been watching Up for Excel, where we aim to get your Excel skills up and your task times down. See you soon.